Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at when to use a stacked bar chart in Power BI. So I was looking at this data again for the world population and this is the projected world population from 2020 till 2100. And I wanted to depict the top five countries by population on Power BI. So I've loaded this data and uh, I've got this tagged bar chart and how I created it was, so I've loaded the data which is the country, population and year and uh, as you can see if I look at the top five countries, um, it does give me a trend but it, it's, it gets a little convoluted. So typically I would like to use a bar chart when I am interested in the totals but I have not more than two values to compare. For example, if I just want to compare India and China, so it becomes fairly clear that oh, this is the total population for India and China. And as you can see that as we go down, India India's population is more compared to China's population. So for example, if we wanted to compare the audience between, so by gender, or for example, if we've got a couple of products and we just want to see what is the total sales for our top two products and which product is contributing more, we could use a stacked bar chart. But as we add more values, this becomes slightly more difficult to comprehend trends and if you keep adding values you will see that it will become more difficult to understand the stacked bar chart and the trends. So let's go to the clustered bar chart which shows each country by its own population. And you can see this is quite useful it tells us which countries got the highest population and which has the lowest population but if you are interested in the sum total of population. For example, if we're interested in the sum total of sales by product, then stacked bar chart is probably a better exa example to use or better uh, visualization to use compared to the clustered bar chart. The third I've got here is the line chart. And this is probably the best chart to do a trend prediction where it shows us how um, India's population is going up and China's is going down over a period of time and also for other countries. So line chart is probably the best chart for doing some sort of trend prediction. Um, and coming back to star, uh, stacked bar chart, stacked bar chart is as a thumb rule, a pretty good chart to have if you're going to just use two groups. For example, you just want to compare between China and India. And as the number of groups increases, uh, it becomes more difficult to understand the stack bar chart. So if you've got two groups that you want to compare and you're interested in the sum total of those two groups, stacked bar chart is probably a better chart to go for. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching this video.